Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you are having a great day today. Um, in today's video, we are going to be playing on our lovely warlock, Night Elf. And we are going to be doing some quests. We have a bunch of missions um, and a bunch of things that we have to help our friends with. Um, so, let's start, I guess. We have to do the sense spitting first and kill some animals. Sadly, my least favorite type of activity. <laughs> um, I checked if I could rename my, like, imps or the imp to be specific, but that's sadly not the case because I would like to give them some names. <gasps> oh my god, it's so cute little animals. I love them. Okay, let's see. It feels so weird to be playing a warlock night elf because like to me night elves are so naturey, you know? Let's see. Let's get the webwood lurker. I was very scared of spiders for a very long time. But after kind of reflecting on it, even though they do have 60 legs and 50 eyes, which is definitely quite creepy, I decided to battle my fears and no longer freak out when I see a spider. And instead, I just either put them outside or just leave them alone. They catch mosquitoes. What is better than that, you know? So, let's get this um, owl. There are a few objectives that we have here. So, oh nice. Okay. Um, have you guys been enjoying the hardcore classic? I did give it a try and I played for a little bit on stream, but honestly, I don't know. I guess like the really old World of Warcraft um, doesn't captivate me as much as the retail. There are so many customization options, so many quali quality of life like changes in the game that I just prefer this version, I guess. Um, it's a lot more comfortable for me. And I don't really have any nostalgic um, like connection to the older World of Warcraft games. So, or I did play the strategy, but you know what I mean, like the MMO. Um, so I just don't really want to play any of that, but I do definitely think that it is very like cozy and relaxing in a way Because of how like slow it is But yeah, maybe I will give it another try Just for like the, the ASMR um, content um, But I don't think I will be like playing it on my own, you know um, So Let's see, while we are here, we can fill the jade file. So, let's see, let's see. What do we have here? Hmm. Oh wait, it's, oh, it's over here, there we go. I was getting a little confused. Let's fill this up. Oh, it is so pretty. I remember just like putting a bunch of these in the strategy game they all looked so beautiful. Um, the only like faction that I played was Night Elves when I was a kid. I was completely in love with uh, Tarande and I would always like summon Tarande in the costume games and stuff. I would like learn her quotes and yell them randomly at my brother. <laughs> it was a good time. Precious precious time. Let's see. I have to use the... this like second debuff as well. Uh, curse of weakness. Increase the time between an enemy attack by 20% for 2 minutes. Oh, this is like... their attack speed gets really low. Let's go over here. 
I like to do a bunch of quests um, all at once and then go around and like turn them in. So I think that's what we're gonna do today. I really love this area. It is so pretty. I have made like so many night elves and leveled so many night elves and I never get bored of Teldrassil. It is stunning, honestly. <laughs> Get her some herbs. There we go. Let's see, we have to get Emerald um, Dreamcatcher. So it should be over here. But there is also a quest we can turn in. Hmm. Let's do this first and then we can run all the way back and turn in the quest. There we go. We got the dream catcher. Ooh. Oh, poor things. I guess night elves lived here and then they got overrun by these uh, bear boys <laughs> and they had to leave, it seems. Very sad. Okay, let's get them. Let's avenge our brothers and sisters. There we go. This guy is so cute. Kikidium. I never thought I would say that about um, a demon spawn, but here we are. Things might surprise you, I guess. Ooh. Oh, that's so pretty. I would love to have this in a corner somewhere. It's a nice little decoration. Night elves do have some really cute things in their homes. I would definitely buy. Do -do, do -do. Okay, is there anything else we can do here? Oh, we are getting attacked. Boop. 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 Okay, let's go back and turn some quests in. I like to um, follow the road most of the time. Usually the roads are supposed to be somewhat safe, um, but that's not always the case. When I did try the Hardcore Classic, I was doing exactly that, just following the road. And a bunch of harpies attacked me and I nearly died. That was very um, unfortunate. Panicked. Okay, there's a guy over there. I think he turns into a frog. So if another person um, turns in the quest, we have to wait for a few seconds. There we go. And then he goes back to normal. Oh, we have a new skill. Our, uh, health stone. Oh, this is the thing that people make. Me grab with shift. There we go. This is what they make in dungeons and stuff. <laughs> nice. So we are back home, and since we did level up, um, we unlocked a bunch of new quests as well. So let's grab those. Like I mentioned this so many times. But the night elven, like especially men, um, they whisper a lot, like they are very softly spoken. <laughs> so when you talk to them, it's, it's a very um, ASMR experience. I am listening. I shall fit all, little nadris. <laughs> elven language is so beautiful. Um, there's another quest we have here, but this is the pet battle quest, and I don't really do pet battles. I definitely should get into it because it's, a, it's like a very cozy activity, but I don't know, I just never got into it. <gasps> oh my god, it's a forest moth! It's so pretty! I love moths, they are absolutely adorable. Um, I have a hand tattoo over here. This is the moth, um, lunar moth from Ardenweald. Um, this was my druid form 
<laughs> when I was in Arden Weald, I've been using an, like a giant um, arch druid owl nowadays. But um, my second go-to is the moth. It's really, really cute. I just love moths. They are absolutely adorable. Especially like the really fluffy ones. They are so cute. I have a best friend who is terrified of butterflies. Um, it's the fear that I've never really heard before until she expressed that she is very scared of butterflies. So if she sees a moth, she will burn down the house. So I just hope she's not scared of um, my hand, I guess. Let's see, we need to find fell cones, which are supposed to be on the ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't really see them. Well, they are supposed to be by the trees. But for some reason, they're scarce, I guess. You know, any fell cones around? Ooh. We are getting attacked. Oh, I see one. I see one over here. It's very shiny. Not the kitty. Not the kitty cat. Oh no. Oop. Oop. There we go. We will probably need this though. Um, so let me craft it. And then, oh, and then this will heal us. Nice. Okay. Okay, keep using it now. Oh, it just disappeared. Are you kidding me? Some invisible night elves grabbed the fell cone. This is unacceptable. Okay, there's the one. Hopefully it's not going to disappear again. I'm going to be very sad. Let's grab this one. Oh no, there's a kitty coming towards us. Let's avoid the kitty. Boop. Boop. Oh, it seems to be like weirdly overlapping. There we go. And then we can move this down a little. <laughs> See? I like when everything is clean and very organized. I am an organization connoisseur, I guess. A loot goblin, but an organized loot goblin, which is good combo. Um, I have a bunch of like bags in Baldur's Gate for like different little things, and I really wish we could rename the bags <laughs> um, so I could kind of have like folders for each of the the theme that I'm collecting. I feel like the RPG gamers are getting spoiled um, with the amounts of like games that we are getting nowadays. We got Starfield, Baldur's Gate, um, a big update to Cyberpunk and uh, Dragon's Dogma gameplay I believe was like posted recently just things like that it's so exciting what a time to be alive no more battle royales I guess at least for now it's all very very exciting um, and speaking of RPGs I've been really enjoying Skyrim again recently I've been streaming a lot of Skyrim well not, not a lot but I've been streaming Skyrim in general um, and it's been super duper fun. I am trying to do non-sneaky archer build. Thus far, I am succeeding. Um, I hope it stays that way because I think for what, like 12 years or something, um, I've been doing the sneaky archer on every single playthrough and I've really tried to not do the sneaky archer, but I've been failing maybe like 10 levels in 
I just switched the entire build. But this time, I'm playing a Dunmer Mage or a Battle Mage. So it's it's looking pretty good. I gotta say, it's looking fun. Okay, what is this? Health funnel. Sacrifice when you five percent of your maximum health to heal your summoned demon for twice as much over five seconds. Ooh. Okay, this should be quite useful. I'm gonna put the demon things over here, I guess. Maybe like that. That sounds good. Okay, this is a um, like a self buff to harden your skin. It seems. Wait, there are even more quests. Oh my god, what should I do? Let's go here and do this, and then we can come here and pick up those two quests. I really hope that they will not send me back in this area, because um, it happened to me so many times where I will walk all the way, I will do a single quest, I go back, I pick up like three quests that tell me to go back again. God, it would happen a lot in um, like Elder Scrolls games. So the lesson that I've learned from them was that if I see a cave, I will not set a foot in there until I get a quest with it. Because like, why am I wasting time? Come on. No one is paying me to do this. Okay, let's kill these myth uh, mystics. Bear mystics. Get them, little demon. Come on. <laughs> we can also do this. I wonder if it makes our casting speed. Um. Hmm. It says enemies attacks, so I'm assuming that it's for like melee attacks or the physical stuff. It said that Warlock can have only one curse active per target, so I wonder how many more curses we're gonna get. Now I'm intrigued. I've never been so excited to um, learn curses. That's something I never thought I would say. Boop. Uh, let's get the Dream Eater. He's kind of like... He's a big boy. He's a big boy boss. Boop. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember when I was a kid, I played a lot of console, because I mean, back in the day, we did not have a PC. So I would pretend that I am, like someone is watching me nowadays, you know, like streaming, <laughs> and I would narrate everything that I would do, um, and I would kind of voice everything that I would do. So like... I could not just sit still and silent and play something. I had to make little sounds, like the, the boop is one of the examples. Like I had to do something. I couldn't just play the game. It had to be fully voiced by me. Um, like all the sound effects had to be um, Mary sound effects. Uh, looking back at it now, it is quite cute um, knowing that I got into like content creation, streaming, YouTube, all of those things. Like in the beginning it was quite hard to speak to no one um, like in the chat because there was no one in the chat but I guess as a kid I did practice so it did work out in the end. <laughs> Just talking to nothing all day myself to the camera it's pretty fun 
Gotta say, you get used to it. The trees are so pretty. Oh, it's all pinky purple. Um, I did my nails the other day. They are dark green, um, like teal-y kind of. And looking at these trees now, I was thinking about going a little bit like red burgundy next time. But I might go a little bit like dark pinky. Because it's so pretty. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, we have to go into the city. Or the little village, I should say. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Who is this gamer? Or the motorcycle? Oh my god, it's a little wisp. <gasps> Gathering trees. Oh, it's so pretty. So many wisps. Sometimes, like since I really um, love the environmental design, sometimes I forget to look up because I'm looking at the like the ground or straight up all the time. Um, but it's always good to also look up to like see what's happening and like seeing wisps and these kinds of little details is really fun they have been here this entire time i did not even notice them it goes for the real life too actually like sometimes i might be walking down the street that i've been on like hundreds of times and just because i look up um i see something new so <laughs> i always have to remind myself to do that there is more how do they say it more than meets the eye boop, 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 boop. okay let's continue <gasps> again little wisp doing its wispy things Oh, he's... Did he just bite an owl and run away? <laughs> We're getting attacked by the little tiger. No. I'm sorry, little one. I don't want to do this. You force my hand. It is what it is. These lights are so pretty. I love the way he's like hopping. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Okay, so we have to use these things um, on the shadow sprites. I could really drink a cup of sprite right now. Nice and cold. This cave is so eerie. Oh wait, it's a little, it's a rare boss. Oh, oh my god. This is exciting. Completionism. Can I get an achievement, please? Give me something. We got a bag. Oh, we did, um, we are using the bag right now, okay. Boop. Okay, let's get, like, deeper into the cave. Ooh. So creepy and eerie. It's not very ulu anymore. Can we get two? We cannot even get one. Sad. Ooh. Nice. Okay. 
I think from here we can go up. Oh, never mind. Someone is logging in and out like crazy. I'm sure you noticed it. <laughs> Wait, can you go through the water? Hold on. Never mind. No. I love the way they swim. It's so pretty. Little mermaid. Little magical wooden wooden. <laughs> yeah, wooden mermaid. Um exactly. <laughs> Night elven mermaid. Uh-oh. Let's get chased by a few of them. And then... We can just like bind them all together. Okay, let's go this way. There we go. We found the right path. Finally, gamers. Let's go. Thus far, I've been really liking like the warlock um, spells, I guess. I never thought I would play like a darky kind of class. My go-to is always a druid. And if it's not a druid, then it is like a ranger. Like to me, to me, like, hunters are not really associating with hunters, per se. Like, it's more of a defender of the forest, which is why I really like them. They love um, animals, they protect animals, they protect the animals in the forest. So, that's the aesthetic that I like to go with. It's still kind of like, like a druid, you know? <laughs> Protectors of the druid. Okay, let's see. Oop. Our little devil is following us. I'm just going to keep running and throwing this at them. Uh, when I tried classic hardcore, I was told to avoid um, caves, which is what I did exactly. Come to me, little one. Let's go. There it is. It's hopping. It's hopping really fast. <laughs> I think we're going to be able to level up. It's exciting. I like um, leveling in the vanilla zones the most, just like the basic vanilla leveling, until I get to the expansion, I guess. Thank you, Mr. Drood. Okay, what is this? Drains life from the target, causing 28 shadow damage over 5 seconds and healing you for 500% of the damage done. Damn! seems fun. Okay. I think I will call it a day here. Because um, if I keep going, we're just going to be here for three hours, honestly. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun hanging out with you all. I hope you have a great day. Please check all of my socials down below. Comment, like, subscribe all the things. Um, I would really appreciate it. We are very close to 1000 subs, which is great. <laughs> so yeah, um, thank you so much for being here and I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever it is for you. Goodbye everyone.